Yeah, you guys, this D here. We were tinkering around, Doug was showing me how to hook up a cap and just run it to a coil. This is an extra uh, run coil I had here. I put both the uh, start trigger and start run together and the end trigger and end run together. And came down here and hooked it up to the uh, cap here. And we basically hooked up like a little voltage doubler here. And the uh, battery got down to like 12, 16. You can actually see it wanting to come up a little bit. There's no uh, transistor or anything hooked to that. Just went straight into the uh, voltage doubler off the coil. And it's putting a little power back into the uh, primary battery. It's, they're really small caps too. These things are not even as big as your thumb. I've got two of them up there. Let's see if she makes it to 12.18. And he did say if I went from the uh, start trigger and we'll go from the end trigger and, and bring the end trigger into the start run and then come off of that and use the whole coil to give it more output to the uh, caps. But like I said, these are little bitty small caps. So there it goes, are just blinking flink, and going to 12.18. Actually get a little power back into the run battery. Not a whole lot, but it's free. So there we are. We're sitting at, uh, at 900 milliamps, just like we should, going into an 18 AH battery. And she's sitting at 1342. Definitely need to get some power back into this primary battery, though. Maybe this will help it out there. All right, guys, just wanted to show you what's happening. And we got an extra coil on there, just trying to tap into some extra power here. All right, we'll see you later.